hundreds of farmers are this evening blockading milk processing plants at centres across England in a protest at the price they're paid. We are being asked to produce milk under cost of production. It cannot be done. Farmers for Action said their supporters are outside at least three sites run by the firm Arla. Dairy farmers are angry about cuts of up to two pence a litre in the amount they receive from major milk processors. But what we're saying at the end of the day is there's going to be a huge global demand for dairy produce, but if we're not careful, there wouldn't have been any British dairy farmers left to fulfil it because we've lost 50% of them in the last 10 years. Hello, I'm Matt Jones and over the next few days I'm going to be investigating the life of a British dairy farmer and the problems they face on a day-to-day -day basis with their milk. Over the past decade, Britain has lost half of its dairy farms. We are looking into why this has happened and also what is being done to help the ones that are left. We already know that farmers are not happy with the price they've paid for their milk. They go on protests and exhibitions at supermarket distribution centres to try and change this. What we're trying to find out is whether their argument is valid or whether they're simply just milking it. To start off our investigation, we decided to speak to ex-dairy farmer Dennis Jones to find out why he went out of the business and also to find out his opinion on this current situation. Uh, I started farming when I was 16. I left school, came home on the family farm with mum and dad, milking 60 cows. Um, I can't remember how much we were getting for milk then, because it was a long time ago. Um, when mum and dad died, um, sort of 94, uh, 98, uh, soon after that I realised that there was really no future in dairy farming for me. Uh, we were getting around about 16 pence a litre. Uh, our milking parlour was uh, wearing out we need to, to invest a serious amount of money. The problem with the milk situation is exactly the same with our beef price. It's just not good enough. Why are the supermarkets selling food so cheaply? Currently the dairy farmers are getting um, around about 28, 27 pence per litre for their milk. And when we compare that to bottled water, Coca-Cola, fruit juices, beer, um, you know, you actually look at the um, what the work that goes into producing those types of products as opposed to milk. Milk, farmers get up at you know, 4.30 in the morning, they milk their cows for two hours, then they have to feed them. They do lots of other things, uh, make their silage, make their hay, etc, etc. Then they turn around after a good day's work and have to milk their cows again. They might not get in till half past six. They have to do that 365 days a year. It's a massive amount of work that goes into milk production and it's at the dirty end of the system. If this is such a problem to dairy farmers, why don't they just stop producing milk? That's a very good question. Um, if I was a dairy farmer now, I would promote throwing the milk away for two days. I think if dairy farmers did that, um, it would cause mayhem. There's 65 million people in this country and they all need milk tomorrow. Would you blame the supermarket or the distributor for the price that gets paid to farmers? I blame the supermarket every single time. It's got nothing to do with the distributor. Uh, they take it off a farm, they um, pasteurise it and then they send it to the supermarket. They're obviously in a contract, uh, they make a profit um, but it's the supermarket that is selling the end product. And when you go to places like Iceland that are selling four pints of milk for 89 pence, it's ridiculous. What action are dairy farmers taking against the supermarkets to try and change this situation? Farmers for Action, they're the people that are really trying very hard to support dairy farmers and do something to the supermarkets to persuade them that they need to pay a higher price for milk. What we do is we blockade their distribution centres roughly for about four to five hours and that causes then a stack of about 170 articulated lorries. They can't get in and they can't get out. So it, it causes severe mayhem within the distribution centre. We're going on a, a demo tonight and uh, I can't tell you where we're going um, but we're going to cause mayhem. It's very peaceful, the police are on our side 
and it's the only way we can uh, get the message across to those greedy supermarkets. After hearing what Dennis has said about the milk protests, we have decided to go along to one and see what it's like for ourselves. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm David Handley. I'm a very old dairy farmer, um, first generation, milk about 100, 140 cows in Monmouth in South Wales. What is the FFA and what is your role within it? Well, FFA is a very loose organisation of farmers all over the United Kingdom. We started just over 15 years ago because we were very fed up and angry with other unions telling us that prices were okay and we felt they weren't and we wanted to do something about it and we wanted to be proactive. What is going on here? I can see the tractors, not many people getting in and out. Can you describe that to us? The argument is with the company, not with the staff. So the cars you see going in and out here tonight are staff working here. We've no argument with them, but you'll notice there are no lorries going in or no lorries coming out, and we hope that will make them realise what it's like for farmers at the moment who are having to take uh, a price that is well below the cost of production. Can you describe the milk protest and what you're doing here? Well, it's, it's fairly complex. Um, we start off, we decide on where the target is. We then have to liaise with the police, um, which we do at, on all occasions. And then there's a lot of hard work goes in. You know, we get them all here and we make our point and uh, hopefully something good will come of it. What is your background in farming? My background in farming is uh, I'm on a family-run farm in Wedmore. Uh, that's with my grandfather, uh, my father and my uncle. We milk about 240 uh, Frisian Holstein cross uh, dairy animals. Can you tell us the issue you're faced with in regard to milk prices? Well, basically, um, the milk companies, um, processors, and retailers are squeezing the price. We've currently had a 25% price reduction in our milk, which is looking in excess of over £6,000 a month. You're taking action here in a peaceful protest. What are you trying to gain from this? Hopefully we're here to raise awareness and take it to the, the processor behind me uh, and hopefully they'll realise that they cannot continue to, to cut the milk price because as I would say it's very narrow-minded and short-sighted in the sense that if they continue to cut the price and the farmers continue to go out at the rate that they are at three a week out of the dairy industry then this site behind me will become very dormant and, and there will be no milk production going or milk going through this, this factory behind me. If you could speak to a supermarket right now, what would you say to them? If I could speak to a supermarket, I think I'd tell them that what they need to do is to stop being short-sighted, stop driving farmers out of business. You cannot produce a product at less than cost of production, which is basically what we are doing at the moment. And basically what we need to find in the agricultural industry is a level ground. And I'm not only talking about in dairy, but in beef, sheep, pigs and poultry. How does this issue affect you as a dairy farmer? Well, quite simplistically, as of today's prices, never mind where they may end up, we're 120,000 short of where we were. Do you think this protest is successful in what you're trying to achieve? Well, you'll not be able to gauge if the protest is successful just off of tonight. We do get a lot of people asking us what they can do. So obviously, you know, our message is getting through, but tonight there isn't much of a media presence. So I would imagine no one's really going to know we're here. So tonight, maybe not. Other nights, yes, we have, yeah. In an attempt to get another side on the argument, we tried to speak to several supermarkets, but they all refused to speak to us. For example, one supermarket said that they were not allowed to comment on the situation and they were not allowed to be shown on camera. Instead, we decided to venture out and speak to the public to see what they know of this matter and to get their opinions on it. Are you aware of the situation farmers are facing with um, milk prices? Absolutely. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, I am, yeah. Are you interested in this situation? At yes. All? Yes, very much. Um, a little bit, yeah. So how often do you buy milk? I, I buy two, um, two large bottles every week. Three or four times a week. Three times a week, four times. Well, it probably once every three days. Where do you buy it from? Actually from supermarket. Usually supermarkets. Supermarkets. Supermarket. So do you know how much a pint of milk is? 
Well, I know what I pay, which is a pound, which I think is too far too much. The cheapest is usually 89 or 99p, depending on which supermarket you go to, for four litres. I buy four pints, and it's a pound. I buy a, a, what is it, a two litre for about a quid, you know. If I was to tell you that, on average, a pint of milk was 49 pence, yes. would you say that is a fair representation of the true value of the product? Well, I certainly believe that what I pay a pound, I'm not really paying the full price for the milk, of course. I'd say probably, uh, yeah, yeah. Probably not, probably expensive. Whatever the price would be to pay, I would happily pay it. How much profit would you say a farmer makes per litre? Well, I wouldn't say anything. I don't think it's very much, I think it's probably pence. I know it's not much. Probably something like two pence. If they make a loss of four pence, how do you? How would you feel about it's that? It's terrible. Yeah? That's terrible, it really is. Well, I just think it's, it's wrong. If the situation was to change, the supermarkets would have to put the price of the milk on the shelf up um, would you see that becoming a problem with the public? No, it used to be more expensive anyway. It seems to be the last year or so it's really dropped in price. So, I mean, everybody has to buy milk, so you buy it anyway, don't you? Milk and bread are things that we eat regularly every day, like, so we're not going to stop doing it. Like, it's not like a packet of crisps or a cake or something like that, you know? Yes, I think people appreciate um, how hard the farmers work to get the milk out, and I think they would be prepared to pay more. If the milk was more expensive, we still buy it. Of course we would. So do you feel supermarkets use milk as a way to get customers I do, in? yes. I like a, it's like a loss, a loss leader, of course, to them, yeah. To conclude this documentary, we have found out the reason why farmers are so unhappy with the price they pay for their milk and how they're trying to change this. We've got an ex-dairy farmer's opinion and also the general public's view on this situation, both saying they agree with dairy farmers and that the price of milk is by far too low. The FFA will continue to stage protests against supermarkets that try and achieve a better price for their milk. We would like to hear your say on the matter. Tweet us at Greenfield Films using the hashtag AreTheyMilkingIt with your opinions.